This webinar is currently being recorded and will also be posted on social media. I'm uh, Kirtana Torugani again, for those of you who uh, just joined us. I'm the SAD National Student of the Year, um, and I'm really excited to have you all here for our Rock the Belt webinar, the first in our SAD Strong Core Area webinar series. Uh, and our presenters during the webinar today will be my friends and fellow members of the SLC, Corey Martin, VP of Student Engagement, Kaylee Williams, VP of Programs, and Bailey Bindle, the VP of Communications. And now I'm going to turn it over to my SLC friends for the webinar. I hope everyone enjoys watching. Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Corey Martin. And we are so glad that you have joined us today for the Sad Strong webinar series. Make sure that you mark the dates January 9th for the Sad Shines webinar and April 3rd for the Is It Worth It or Is It Worth the Risk webinar. And these are both going to be at 7 p.m. So, what is Sad Strong? Sad Strong is a series of free programs available at no cost to register chapters. This is a perfect way to get the community outreach at very at no cost, and is a great way to start campaigns if you are working on a low budget. Chapters are encouraged to participate in these programs with specific reach to teens, parents, communities, and policymakers. <clears throat> So the three main programs that we're going to be looking at um, today specifically is going to be Rock the Belt, which is a campaign meant to encourage students to be wearing their seatbelts and is a great pan campaign that my school has actually practiced, it, practiced and it worked tremendously. Teens were wearing their seatbelts in rates that were significantly higher than when we first tested them. The next one is Sad Shines, which is going to be encouraging um, students and teens to meet with schools such as elementary schools and middle schools to encourage more involvement and increase numbers in their own SAD clubs by trying to reach out to the younger kids before, before they get to high school. Um, this is why I joined SAD personally because the, um, the high school that was watching over our middle school actually came to our school, talked to us about SAD, I felt very interested and that's why I became um, the SAD president in our high school. The last one is the is it worth it is it worth the risk, which goes over drinking, um, specifically drinking and driving, and showing teens that it's not worth the risk to stay away from drinking and driving because it can impact yourself and other people on the roadways. Now, the way that these um, the chapter achievement and recognition is going to work is that for these three programs, you're going to have the ability to earn stars. Now, a one star is by completing and reporting on two required activities from each of the three SAD programs listed to the left. Two stars can be achieved by completing and reporting on two required activities and three additional activities from each of the three SAD programs plus one SAD advocacy activity. Now we have the rock star. That status can be, can be achieved by completing and reporting on two activities plus six additional activities from each of the three SAD Strong programs plus two SAD advocacy activities. After you complete each campaign, fill out the included report form and send it to SAD National Office along with any photos and pictures that you collect along the way and we'll be able to recognize you guys for the amazing and life-saving work that your chapter does. Thank you all for listening, and I'd like to pass it on to Kaylee Williams. Hi, everyone. Like Corey said, my name is Kaylee Williams, and today I'm going to be talking to you about what we're here today to listen to, the Rock the Bell campaign. So Rock the Belt uses evidence-based strategies to raise awareness of seatbelt usage. It was originally developed by the Mississippi SAD chapter, and it was used to increase seatbelt usage in communities that had a low belt usage rate. It was adopted as the SAD national 
core program in 2015. So we're going to be going over some of the things that we would like for you to participate in and do in your school and get your community involved. We have a week's worth of activities that are planned and that your school can modify and use to implement in your community. So on Monday, we're going to be doing the first um, survey. And then on Wednesday, we're going to be doing the quick click challenge. And then on Friday, we're going to follow, we have a follow up survey. And I'm going to be going more into detail about some of the things that you can implement during the week. So the first required activity is the pre seatbelt check, which this is where you follow the guide to monitor how many individuals are wearing their seatbelts. The second part is the quick click challenge, which is where you're going to do a fun activity and really encourage people to use their seatbelts. We're going to have a list of fun activities that you can do. We also have the post seatbelt check, which is going to work with law enforcement, and you're going to see how the activities that you implemented during the week really made a difference in your community. So what we did for the seatbelt check is we partnered with our local law enforcement, and as students were leaving the parking lot, as you can see here, we drew some buckle up, some slogans on the ground with chalk. And as students were coming out of the parking lot, we checked if they were wearing their seatbelt. And if they were wearing their seatbelt, they got a piece of candy. And if they were not wearing their seatbelt, they were given an informational piece of paper and it had statistics and all sorts of reasons why, personal stories and stuff like that, so that they could really see what happens when students don't wear their seatbelts. So as you can see here, when the students were leaving the parking lot, we would check if they were wearing their seatbelt, and then this was our main activity for the week. And we had a lot of students that participated. We actually had 100% seatbelt usage, which was really great. And we had a lot of positive feedback from our community members. We got a lot of media mention from our local police department, and it was a great way to get everyone in the community involved. Students, law enforcement, elected officials, parents, and it was really a great program. And it was very successful. So here are some optional activities that you could do. Some of the things that we did was we did the chalk the walk, which is where you, we wrote down statistics on the sidewalk. As you can see in those pictures, we wrote buckle up and we had the seatbelt check when students were leaving the parking lot. So that was a great way to get students involved as students were walking to class or walking to their cars. They got to see some of the statistics that were written on the ground. It just really brought awareness to seatbelt usage. Another thing is we had the seatbelt pledge where students pledged to wear their seatbelt while they were driving. And we had a lot of students that came and signed our banner and just came and talked to us about SAD and about our core focus areas. And it was a great way for us to get people to wear their seatbelt and pledge to drive responsibly, as well as bring out some of the things that SAD stands for and some of the things that students may not know about the programs that we do. And with that, I would like to turn, o turn it over to my fellow SLC member, Bailey Bindle. Hi, everyone. It's Bailey Bindle, the Vice President of Communications and the Student Leadership Council. Um, policies are constantly changing, so be sure to check up on the changes you may have locally, statewide, or even nationally that all work to increase your seatbelt usage. Um, a super awesome way to advocate rocking your seatbelt is to see if your school happens to have a policy about wearing seatbelts. If you don't have a policy in place yet, just work with your school administration and Board of Education to get a policy in action for your school to help your peers stay safe in the car. As we all know that's the most important thing. To help you out with making the policy changes, you can check out our program guide that has information on policy changing specifics. A really effective way to spread the word about Rock the Belt is to take advantage of all the media outlets in your community and get on board with the program. 
A really cool way to spread the word is by contacting your local print and getting an article about Rock the Belt in the newspaper, or you can broadcast it on your local TV stations and radio stations. To help you out with contacting the media, the program toolkit contains a sample media advisory for your chapters to use. And the easiest way to use the media for your benefit will most likely be through social media. Have all of the members of your SAD chapter take photos and engage media channels to spread the word. With every post, you should tag the media outlets through their social media sites, either through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or any other social media outlet they may use. After you're all finished with your Rock the Belt campaign, there are some important things you need to remember to do. Thank yous will mean a lot to everyone who helped make Rock the Belt possible, so make their day and show them you appreciate them by sending them a thank you. You can also send all of your pictures you may have taken to info at sad.org so we can celebrate your success maybe on our social media or even in the Sadvocate that comes out monthly. There's always room for improvement so we would really love for you to submit your evaluation form so we can continue to make our programs even better. If you have any questions just click the raise your hand button if you have a question, we will unmute your line. You can always PM Sad Nation with questions on Facebook or even email us at info at sad.org. We'd be happy to answer your questions about Rock the Belt. Thank you for tuning in to our Rock the Bell campaign webinar. Thank you, guys. Good night.